Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Microgreen Show. With today's episode, we are going to go visit Garfield Produce and go interview one of their employees. Now Garfield Produce is basically a company that's built on giving people a second chance in the community. So let's go on with this story. Hi, my name is Shanquel London. I'm here from Chicago and this is my story. So I started off just looking for employment. At first it was like looking for anything, any kind of job. And I happened to get in touch with a good friend of mine named Darius Jones. And he introduced me to Windy City Harvest and that was the start of everything with farming. When I found out about Windy City Harvest, it was like, it was through Darius, but it was more of like, I need a job type thing. And I went straight in and I let them know what was my, my mindset and my goals. And before you know it, I was on their, t their court team. Their court team, it's a 14 week program, where they just getting you ready for jobs, other jobs, opportunities, um, getting you ready for interviews and things like that. And I found out about the apprenticeship. And when I found out about the apprenticeship, I figured after my 14 weeks was over, I was gonna shoot for the apprenticeship and see how far I can get with agriculture. My 14 weeks was up. I qualified for the apprenticeship and I nailed it. I got in there, um, started over 70,000 um, crop starts um, for, for seven different farm sites of Windy City Harvest. The job sites was really like revolving farm sites. It was different farm sites in different communities around Chicago. I had two farmers markets I attended, which was the um, Chicago Botanic farmers market and the much celeste which was downtown in a law firm building on like the 18th floor it was a different farmers market but it's it's like it's good fresh produce who can deny it so the hardest part about farmers markets was getting used to talking to new people and I'm like when you first meet me I'm really shy I'm not I'm not too much of a talker so it was kind of difficult to get to project my voice and to, to attract those people to buy the product. But my experience was great because I actually had the farmer's market with someone who was good at it. So I learned a lot from that guy and I took those things to my other market, which I did with, other, with another um, coworker. And I took those things and I applied them there. Getting like a, a, a catch line, you know what I mean? Like, a catchy line to, to attract the customer and not and not stopping there you know keeping that good energy you know um, giving them good information on the crops they're buying buying it those, those type of things which was something that should come to you naturally but when you when you new to it it's like you know you gotta build when I first walked into Garfield produce it was like it was kind of different because I had just came from Windy City Harvest working outside and to come and do it inside and, a, and another like technique of farming, which is hydroponics, it was, it was like, it was mind boggling. And it was, it was like, it was, it was weird to me kind of at first. My passion level from one to 10 for farming right now is, is probably at an 8.5. When it come to harvesting, I like to use scissors. I don't think my technique is that, that technical, but I put a small glove on the hand that I'm gripping the crop with so I won't clip my glove. So that, that kind of helped me not worry about clipping my glove or clipping my finger or anything. If you want to be a grower, my words of wisdom are to wake up in the morning physically and mentally ready to get out and do the necessary work that it takes to be a farmer. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Microgreen Show. That was a really awesome episode. Um, I really enjoyed how clean and organized and efficient that, that grow room was. I mean, it was just spectacular. Uh, walking into them grow rooms just to smell the cleansiness, uh, their sterilization program, the food safety program, um, they had flow charts. I mean, if you really just look at this grow room and you'll notice on how just spectacularly organized um, it is. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, thank you very much, Garfield, for uh, having me over. Um, and once again, uh, happy Friday and be safe, everyone.